So particularly with our service, we go into the home. And so we have to be creative. What if there is no lighting? What if there's no one to help you? Which there isn't, we go alone. So how can we be creative in everything that we do and know that no matter what, no matter what, that family and pet experience is at the top of everything that we do. So I'm not gonna ask for the client to step away or to go to the back room while I put a muzzle on their dog or something like that. I'm not gonna do any of that because that negates the client experience, which is the entire point of me being there in the first place. Is the, the, the number one, the relief of pain and suffering for the pet and the relief of guilt and, and hopefully a little bit of sorrow from the, the owner. That's why I'm there. So how do we get creative in what we're doing and, and think outside the box? I mean, even something as simple as doing an intrarenal injection for cats is outside the box. And I can't tell you, maybe 3% of veterinarians that I've ever talked to out of tens of thousands have ever even heard of intrarenal or even done intrarenal. Now, luckily, it's growing and growing and growing. But that giving an injection you know, in, in the abdominal cavity, which is how I explain it to families, you know, through, through the, the lateral, um, like lateral recumbency, that allows somebody to have their, their cat on their lap the entire time and to not ever be away from their cat and not have to, for me to shave and try to find a tiny little vein or when we hold off for the femoral vein, we, we you know, we, we bring up one of the legs and, and it just, it's, it's not a very pretty sight for the owners. But when it appears to them that we're able to just kind of wave our hands and wonderful things happen and that pet kind of goes to sleep, um, that ends up being the best experience that we can give them.